In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the guest time codes and audio to text feature together in subtitle edit to make subtitles. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, uh, let's go to open video. Just, just open video file. Let's get this quick video. I'm using subtitle edit 4.0.10. Now, I've got my video loaded up in subtitle edit and to use the guest time code feature, all I need to do is just right click on the waveform right here and then click on guest time codes. Once I do that, I'll come to this new dialog box. Uh, that is the guest time codes dialog box. And where do I want uh, subtitle edit to guess the time codes from? So I want to start from the beginning. Let's assume you wanted to add uh, to start from, let's say maybe somewhere here, you will have actually clicked there so that it starts from the video position. But if you want to guess time codes, for the whole media that you have, then use that. Next up, uh, delete lines. If there are any lines available, you can delete all. And then the detect options. Scan blocks of milliseconds, like how many milliseconds are they going to be count, uh, scanning? 100. Block average volume must be above 35% of total average volume. Block average volume must be below 70% of total max volume. So you can adjust this the way you see fit for whatever you're working on. So what the other thing is that you can split long subtitles at 3,500 milliseconds. So that's okay. I'll leave it as it is by default. Now, tinker around with it and see the results that you get with this. I'll click on OK. And once I do that, time codes are going to be appended uh, right inside here in my list view. And you can easily see uh, how many seconds uh, everything is going. So this is something that you can easily uh, use uh, for whatever you want. And obviously you can even, I believe, export time codes. Should be somewhere. Uh, export custom text or whatever. Uh, you can export time codes maybe for somebody else to use this particular uh, one if that is what you've actually worked on. Or you can actually make adjustments to how you see it fit. And then you can even merge. Let's say merge with previous. For example, you can see if you do that, then it, it kind of goes uh, the way you want it to do. So you can use that to generate time codes for that. I'll press on Z to undo that and leave everything as it was. And now we're going to use the audio to text feature to uh, kind of automatically transcribe all these uh, different blocks right here. So I'll just select the first line, press on Control A so that uh, we can uh, do the audio to text for all the lines and then just right click and go to selected lines, audio, audio to text whisper or audio to text VOSC, whichever that you want. Let's say we go with audio to text whisper. I'll click on that. Now, one thing you need to note is that when you use the guess time codes feature, uh, you make it a little bit difficult for whisper AI, if that is what you're going to use, to understand the context of the audio. So sometimes it may be detrimental to what you're doing, uh, but sometimes it can probably work out to your own advantage. Really depends on what you're working on, uh, the engine that you choose, the models uh, that you're working with. For example, if I probably use the larger models here, I'd, I maybe get better results. Uh, but let's say uh, for this one, Sorry, ignore for this one. I'm just going to use the, uh, the small one. Now, as you can see, all these are different parts of this particular uh, audio or this particular audio from clip three. Now, that's why I'm saying you may get varied results. I'll click on generate and it's transcribing audio to text. And because this is a short file, you can see file three, four of 10. And this is based on the 10 subtitle blocks that I have here. So let's give it a couple of seconds and it's going to be done in no time. Now, as you can see, because these are more or less short lines, Whisper does not kinda understand what is going on. So you can see that it repletes two lines here. Uh, there's some lines that don't have anything and this whole thing is not as it is. And uh, that is why I'm saying it may give you various results. I can also do the same. Let's say audio to text via VOSC. And let me try if this is going to give me a better result right here. I'm using this particular model, 
but you can download whatever model that you want here let's say you go with english very large but let's go with generate it's loading uh, let us see if we get better results with vosk because that is uh, kind of more or less a try and error but of importance here is that you can easily generate the time codes uh, or guess the time codes and uh, they can actually work to your advantage if you want to quickly uh, make some uh, time codes and then create subtitles super super fast really depends on how you actually uh, kind of subdivide the blocks that is what i've actually noticed but let's see how vosk performs uh, as compared to whisper and you can see vosk is much much better than whisper in this scenario and if i actually play this in this tutorial i'll show you how to use descripts eye contact feature to simulate eye contact with the camera even when you're reading from a script welcome to this video my name is david and i hope you're well wherever you are around the world and the audio to text feature via vosk gives me better results the only issue you'll notice is that obviously because the time codes are really really short then the subtitles change really really fast so that is where you'll come in and just uh, let's say we want to merge this with the first merge with previous and now you start getting something like this uh, if you play this in this tutorial i'll show you how to use this you can bring uh, you can bring this back and now make your edits really really quickly right there merging the different uh, subtitle blocks the way you see fit it's super simple try it out let me know in the comments and until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching